17 year old come in here and embarrass us. Oh, there yep. he is, Rafa. In the <laughs> warm up area. Is it time? Oh, man. Get, okay, sits. guys, at home. Here it is. Yes. <laughs> we if, if go. You're... Go into the clock. Pull Start. up your clock app, Rafa. <laughs> okay. And we, you know, uh, JB, you. do we have a, we need Wait, a time I got graphic time. ourselves. I got it. I got it. You're going to have to start on the okay. next one. So I if you're see. joining us at home on US <laughs> Open now, the reason why we all just blacked out for a second and lost our minds is because <laughs> we realized a couple days into our streaming coverage that Rafa Nadal does these extended wall sits for a very specific period of time before he goes and plays these big matches. And it was something that Nick and Prim had never seen before. And oh, by the way, like get your popcorn out because watching Rafa go through a warm up Prim is beyond exciting. He brings I, so I much energy and intensity. Okay, so Prim is on it. She's very particular. She knows a lot about he's what goes the, into he, the warm up session. He's going to so do these for a it. minute. You I started, started it pretty okay, late. So he okay, went about, so that was 50. He went about 50 seconds. He's up. He's up. And he's going to do what did he do last time? Four? He did, he did the dance that my dad always does whenever <laughs> he's at a wedding, which is like the big arms and oh, he'll do the, super. He'll do that again. <laughs> so your dad really does <laughs> know how to prepare. Started. Let's see. There, there it is. is. There There's it the is. That's what your dad does? Oh, Who yeah. Knew? I mean, that, that's dance moves right there. He's a there. professional that's, tennis player, that's your dad. That's dad dance moves. And, and actually, Carolyn, you ask about the players being close to each other. We'll get a view of it here just in a second again. But that's Marin Cilic on the treadmill. We just okay. saw his feet. Here, he, here uh, we go. Well, it's back to the wall. wall so right. get it, Prim, get but it going. just to the um, right I'm is, ready. here it's we go, Cilic. Prim and clock. start. But in all seriousness, while we're on the clock here, Rafa, out of most of the athletes that we've seen, has the most intense warm-up. Um, he's so focused. Everything is down to the second. And he gets ready to go. And that's part of who he is. He's so intense. Rafa was one of, he is so intense, Carolyn. He was one of the players that used the five indoor practice courts. I can 99, 100% tell you that is the US Open facility here. That's the Chase Indoor Center, which is just across the grounds. Uh, yes, Rafa, we are focusing the camera in on you. Hello, Look, good look evening. at how intense he looks. He's and not this, he's not smiling so like intense. some of the other athletes. So different from yeah, some of the other very players. Different. Um, Carolyn, so excuse me there. Uh, so we did speak with Mackie McDonald, who was talking about it's for the knees to really get those the muscles around the knees ready. Maybe fire up the glutes a little bit, but especially he's had so many knee troubles in the past. We saw Naomi Osaka with a knee trouble today. He's definitely getting the muscle around the knee ready. By the way, so a lot of the things that you're seeing, we saw the wall sits and we're all pretty fascinated with this. And you're also seeing some of this band work with the rotator cuff. So what a lot of players do these days is prehab work. So 15, 20 years ago, you wouldn't see players do some of this stuff unless they were injured, which is called rehab. But now in order to help prevent injuries, a lot of these players are implementing some of this PT work before they even step foot on the court just to practice. Prehabilitation. Yep. So it looks like he's going for about 45 seconds at wow, least based on guys, my clock. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at the fans. Wow. Is this at the entrance? I can't even oh yeah it is. it's at the where is this? Is that it's really hard to tell. Oh, but no, look at the oh, this is okay. So this oh. is the other night after he was on the Eurosport set. Oh, we yes. saw him in his purple jacket on the Eurosport set. So many fans had gathered on the South look Plaza. Look what he's doing right now. So is zen. that creative visualization or what? What would you guess? I mean, yeah. I mean, it could be him listening to music. It could be him visualizing, doing a little mental imagery. And he's up. Yeah. So he's up. So he goes about. So it's 45 seconds that he goes for. Getting ready, Rafa, to take on Marin Cilic tonight. And he does have that winning record against Cilic. Again, Cilic is in the warm-up room as well. He was on the treadmill a few minutes ago. And these guys are due out on court in just a few minutes' time. At 7 o'clock, they will take to Arthur Ashe Stadium to be followed by Bianca Andrescu taking on Taylor Townsend. And this is a look in at, there's Carlos Moya. And here we go, round number four. This is one of the biggest reasons to tune into U.S. Open Now. We're with you all throughout the course of the day. We bring you the food, the fun, the celebrities, everything that's happening here. But this is particularly special because this is an extended look. It's counting down, Prim, you're right, from mm -hmm. 45. His At phone. everything 
that you only get to see little bits and snippets of across the course of you know our broadcast partners and what they do we have the time to bring you a lot more a full warm-up full routine here before a huge oh. match at the u.s open nice some picture. great photos on his social right now so this is round four i think last time he did about five or six rounds i'm interested to see I think we had to duck out a little bit. I'll be interested to see how many times he does it. And Nick, particularly important and prim for him to make sure that everything surrounding those knees are in check. I think he made some kind of comment in the press room that, you know, <laughs> he's got to have every as much help as he possibly can with everything that he's been through. Yeah, oh, of course. I mean, with his injury history and also just the way he plays. He plays so intense and rough and tough and gritty. Um, and that takes a toll on the body. You know, it just strikes me, and I've covered Rafa a lot for seven years on the tennis tour. It's been a pleasure to be able to do so. Look at look at the work that's going into a pre-match routine. I, I mean, the dedication that these top players have and the fact that Rafa's getting pumped up for this match tonight. He's doing his wall sits. He's doing all this work. He is so routine, and that comes here it's come in London and Paris and Melbourne but it mostly comes in Mallorca when we don't see him in those tough off days and all the work that he puts in and, and you know we we're talking about Nick Kyrgios and I, I don't know the work that Nick Kyrgios does behind the scenes I don't but look at what Rafa's doing and look at the focus and all of the little things that go into getting ready to step out on court and uh, you know everyone who talks about Rafa and the work that he puts in to be a great champion he is beyond one of the most talented tennis players out there. That's never been a doubt. But few players put in this kind of work to get the most out of their talent. That's his legacy to me. And few can bring you such intimate pictures like this. There's Chilich just right there, Carolyn. All right, so he did five rounds. That's, and my, work, that. that's my workout for tomorrow. Off they go. 